All right. Now we're doing 7Q, growth of a population. This is by G964, and 84% of the people like it. In a small town, the population is 1,000 at the beginning of the year. The population regularly increases by 2% per year, and more over 50 new inhabitants per year come to live in the town. How many years does the town need to see its population greater than or equal to 1,200 inhabitants? All right. So the first year, we're going to say uh, the initial value plus the initial value times 2% plus 50 equals that. And then the second year, we're going to say uh, the next, the resulting value times 2% blah, blah, blah. blah. Uh, and we got to remember that the number in, of inhabitants is an integer, all right? And then it'll get to the third year, and that's going to be the answer, right? So uh, basically, we're going to have the initial value, the percent. This is going to be that uh, aug. I guess augmentation, I don't know. It's gonna be whatever this is. And then uh, the target right here. So for this one, we're gonna make a for loop. And then we're going to, uh, with the for loop, we're gonna do a count instead of iterating through an index. And then uh, we're just gonna do pretty much this, this uh, formula right here for the, to, to get the count above, to get the P zero above P. So let's start off by saying uh, for, we're gonna say var count uh, equals zero. And we're gonna use var instead of uh, let because we need to use the count to be, uh, the count's gonna be our, uh, it's gonna be what we return. So it needs to be outside of the for loop. All right, so now we're gonna say, that's not what we're gonna do. Now we're going to say while p0 is less than p, we're going to say uh, count plus plus, all right? So right now we're going to say p0 plus equals, let's space that out. So we're doing p0 plus equals uh, p0 times uh, this, but it comes out as like 5%, so we're going to have to divide it by 100. So we're going to say, uh, percent divided by a hundred and then plus uh, this which is going to be the aug aug all right and uh, since it's like we like I said since the uh, number of inhabitants is an integer there's no like 0.7 of a person we're going to have to uh, cut off the uh, decimal places from this number so to do that we're going to use the uh, what is it, the bitwise or operator. And the bitwise or operator returns one in each bit position for which the corresponding bits of either or both operands are one. And that's not what we're gonna use it for. What we're gonna use it for is when you put zero in the B place and then in the A place, you have something with uh, decimal places after it and you run it, it takes them off. So that's why we're using it. I mean, we, you can play with this all you want and figure out exactly what it does, but for our purpose, that's what we're gonna use it for. So we're gonna say, or zero right there. And then we're gonna down here, return count. All right, so it's gonna iterate through until this is above this, and then we're gonna return that count when it does do that. Test it out. Good job, all right, attempt it. Let's see. 27 milliseconds. Let's see if we can beat that with a one-liner. All right. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to say const uh, nb year equals this. And then we're going to uh, get rid of this, this part here. But we're going to keep this part because we can use it. Uh, and then we're going to do this right here. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to use recursion recursion and recursion is basically the act of a function calling itself all right uh and it's just going to be what we're going to use instead of the for loop it's just what uh let me show you we're going to use a ternary operator too and then we're going to use this instead of the uh, if else statement but we're going to say if p zero is uh, less than p, we're going to say uh, the recursion in b year, and then we're going to put this, let me take this out of here, we're going to take this 
and use it as this first parameter. So we're going to take this right here, put it right in here, get rid of this stuff. All right, that's the first parameter. Second parameter is percent. We can just take all this. What am I doing? And just take the rest of this right here. Just like that. And uh, if not, if it is uh, less than it, then we're just going to get out of that. I guess we could say break, uh, but we just return zero. Let me see what we do if we hit break. Let's test it out. Nope. What's the problem? Percent. Okay. What's the problem? Oh, maybe the break is the problem. <laughs> uh, let's change this to zero. Okay, it was the problem. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't know why we have to put one here, but uh, it's not really one plus, it's more of a multiplier. See, because now it's 30 times instead of 15, uh, and now it's going to be 45 instead of 15, right? So we got to put uh, one, but also one equals true. So let's just put true in there. And then over here, false. Uh, not that it makes, it makes more sense that it's true plus this than one plus this, in my opinion. Uh, so let's push test. It works. Attempt it. Let's see how fast it went. Where are we trying to be? 20, 27? All right. 32. Big loser. It doesn't even matter what, how hard we try. <laughs> uh, that's so lame. Okay. Uh, so here we go. We got this. Test it out one more time. Uh, attempt it. And we're good. Submit it. <laughs> All right, uh, very much like this one. Uh, let's go to my solutions. Yeah, I did it twice. Uh, the first time my video was slow. Whatever, no big deal. Anyway, here's the here's the winner. Here's the this was the winner the first time, but here's the winner the second time. They're actually both winners. All right, and we'll see you next time.